I'm Mingwa Bjarnasund, consultant and professor of gastroenterology at King's College Hospital. I've been carrying out research in gastroenterology for over 30 years. The latest study that I've done is a three-month study into the effectiveness of a probiotic called Simproof in the irritable bowel syndrome. The results of the study were very significant in that 60% of patients reported an improvement in the symptoms way above placebo. The results show the Simproof reduces and improves many, many of the symptoms of IBS, uh, significantly so, and uh, uniquely in comparison with other treatments that only address a part of the problem. And I suspect the results are as good as they are because this is a unique form of treatment with live bacteria rather than a uh, freeze-dried preparation. Apart from the very promising results on symptoms, the good outcome of the trial was that there were no serious side effects from the treatment, so it's a safe product to use. This was an independent trial instigated by myself. Uh, it took to 186 patients with moderate to very severe uh, irritable bowel syndrome. The trial was run to a standards of what is expected of a, a drug trial rather than a food supplement. The cardinal difference between this kind of research and other kind of research in probiotics is that the population groups have been very clearly defined uh, and so there's a very clear idea for the clinician of who is being treated and who you can apply the data to in your practice. Probiotics are an area which are incredibly important to our patients. They really care passionately about this kind of uh, treatment area. They know they've got a condition by and large which we're treating which you don't have cures for. So it's about self-management and long-term management and having a treatment which is sort of natural and doesn't feel like it's a pharmacological agent is a big deal for patients. Um, the research into that therefore has been something which has been broadly looked at but has been really hampered by the fact that people have not done a great job of doing it to date by virtue of the fact that it's been regarded as being too difficult to do with these kind of products. Um, what's really attractive, I must say, looking at the data that's emerging, is that newer trials are doing proper scientifically based studies in this disease area with carefully defined patients uh, showing positive results. IBS is a really, really big deal for society, but above all for the individual. So in terms of societal costs, it represents a huge issue around probably about four weeks a year of time lost from work. It represents sort of several uh, prescriptions and over-the-counter type medications if you'll buy for laxatives and anti-diarrheals and windy remedies. And it's a really big deal. But then there's a bigger issue around what patients suffer day in, day out. So the bloating, the pain, the discomfort. Um, and that's a it impairs quality of life, essentially. So we're talking about as many as people say, so 10 to 20% of the population of the UK at any one time have IBS. And having that kind of burden of ill health, it's a real, a real nuisance for the society. Hello, I'm Anne Smith. And I'm Barry, and Anne and I are the founders of the R&D company Simproof that's been working in probiotic development for the last 24 years. We're here today at uh, DDW, Digestive Diseases Week in San Diego, uh, for a release of the scientific information that's been uh, collected by uh, King's College Lond London uh, on a study uh, with our probiotics Simproof, and we believe that we have a world's first. This is really important for us because we believe that the release of this evidence that has just been completed um, will bring clinicians on the side uh, to thinking of a different way of treating IBS uh, with a new technology. Yes, it's, it's just lovely working um, in our offices in Farnham because every day I get calls from people who phone in and they say that Simproof, after they've taken it for a while, has actually changed the quality of their life and that's humbling and very, very nice to hear.